There's an old saying that you shouldn't lose the forest in the trees. And I think it's so important when it comes to looking at our health. Because right now, if we look around the mainstream healthy living advice, it's so focused on the minutia of this diet versus that diet. Should you be keto or paleo or vegetarian or this or that? Those are the trees. We're losing picture of the big forest. And this is why in this video, I wanna talk about the cycles and the balance and the stuff that really brings your body health and well being on a macroscopic level so that we can inform the decisions we're gonna make about those more microscopic things. And before we get into this graph here and some of the things I wanna share with you, we need to talk about the general concept and a little bit of philosophy. And that is, is there is an order to the natural world. If we look around and we look at uh, Mother Nature, we look at the Earth and her seasons and cycles. Everything has an order. There is a balance between daytime, which transitions to nighttime. There are the seasons of summer and winter. There is hot, there is cold. There is this balance of these different forces. And our bodies manifest the same principle. There is balance between our activity and our rest, our food intake and ingestion, and our food elimination and fasting. And now it's even ordered into our very DNA when we are essentially being conceived and the beginning cells of our bodies are starting to form, we have DNA inside of us, ordered structured DNA that has the exact blueprint of how these bodies will develop. And everything starts developing on a plan. The plan is set out, it is set in stone, and everything evolves from this central plan. This is how we need to think about health. Health is about maintaining the order and balance in our bodies. When we maintain that order, we feel ease, when we lose that order, we experience dis-ease. The lack of ease, the movement out of that healthy equilibrium that our bodies are designed to be in, this is the big picture conversation that we all need to understand. And to understand this, we're gonna look at some of these dualities that are in play and present um, in our bodies, particularly around food, sleep, activity, um, and our mindset. These are gonna be some areas that we're gonna talk about. And we're gonna look at each of these areas and I want you to reflect on your own life as we're going through this, which areas are you in balance and which areas are you out of balance? And when we're out of balance, we are gonna manifest dis-ease. So when it comes to ingestion and elimination, we have this balance. We must eat food. It moves through this digestive tract and is eliminated. When we are in good health, there is a balance between the amount we are ingesting if we ingest too much, what does this body do? It says, I have excess energy. I will store it as body fat. And over time, as we continue to do that, we accumulate more and more, and it causes dysfunction in the metabolism. This is what's happening certainly here in the United States. We have obesity rates of up to 40% now, maybe even higher. It's because we're over-consuming, over-ingestion, and we're not eliminating well. Digestive health is not good. That's why it's become such a big focus. Everyone's like, get probiotics, get fiber, make sure you're eating unprocessed foods. And it's true, because we want to support elimination. We want to support the calorie balance. So right now, look at your body. It's going to give you cues on which uh, side of the scale you're tipping on. If you're carrying too much right right now, there is likely an over-ingestion and a not enough of this allowing your body to burn off some of that stored energy, and we need to correct that balance. That's what essentially weight loss helps people do. They feel so much better when they get that body and metabolism and energy balance into the right thing. And when we're eliminating having healthy bowel movements daily, this is the balance here around the food and nutrition. Now, when it comes to our exercise, we need to have a balance between activity, moving our bodies, and rest and recovery. So most people, and I'll speak here in the United States, are in balance in the sense that they're over ingesting and under moving, they're not moving enough. And there's too much of this rest condition where when our bodies are in balance, we are moving daily, which is giving our body stimulation to use those muscles to circulate that blood, to bring that vital energy into the body so we feel good. And so when we do that and we have the right kind of uh, activity and rest, our body is in good health. On the flip side, there's also the other extreme where you can exercise too much where you're going so hard, training so much, maybe you're preparing for like a marathon or a triathlon and you feel run down because the rest principle is not in balance with the activity principle. We need to bring those things into balance. And it is for you right now to think, where are you at on this part of the duality, on this continuum between activity and rest? And this also applies to our inner life, our minds, our emotions. There is the, the idea of stimulation. We're thinking. We're working on our business. We're solving problems with our families. And at the same time, we have a relaxation where we're not thinking as much. Things slow down in the system and everything kind of sinks back into a sense of stillness. These things need to be in balance. And again, here in the United States, we have a lot of this. 
We have a fast, hard charging culture that is like work, 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 lots of stimulation, not enough relaxation. And then we're also propping ourselves up because we're not resting enough with stimulants like coffee, energy drinks, and then our mood is out of balance. So we're taking medications and pharmaceuticals to balance our depression and our anxiety. These things are masking the symptoms of the fact that we're out of balance with these principles. This is it. This is really the game. It is kind of on a big picture, this simple. We need to reestablish harmony and balance in our systems. And your balance point is different than mine. We're all individual and we all need to look at ourselves on these different continuums. Where are we out of balance and where are we in balance? And the areas where we're in balance, we need to acknowledge the habits, the environment, the healthy environment that's allowing us to stay in balance and maintain those things. Like the good gardener keeps up with the good soil that leads to the good flowering of the good fruits, right? And at the same time, when we're out of balance, we need to use our intelligence and our awareness to recognize where are we missing the mark? Where are we? And we need to make those corrections to bring the system back into balance. This is the forest of good health. When you have this and you're in balance, there are so many different types of diets that could work for you. As long as they're balancing the ingestion elimination, the feeding, the fasting, as long as they're in balance with the calories. There's so many different kinds of exercise programs that can work for you. As long as they're balancing activity with rest, not too little, not too much, just right. And ultimately, no matter what health and fitness program you choose to follow, you need to make sure it's balancing your mindset and your emotions, that you feel happy and productive. And if you ever do hit roadblocks, you know how to get out of those things. And so that you have the balance between stimulation and relaxation. This is what creates good health. And I'm not just making this stuff up. These are things that you can realize inside yourselves as truths, but also let's look at the people who are doing this. There is a study called the Blue Zones where they looked around the world for these pockets of longevity, people that are living the longest, pockets of centenarians, people living to 100 plus, and they studied them. And they said, what do these different pockets of longevity around the world? There's like seven to nine of them all over the world. Some in California, some in Sardinia, Italy, Okinawa, Japan. Um, there's, I think, one down in Costa Rica. Point being, we have these different pockets. What do these people do? They live balanced lives. They don't do P90X crazy exercise, but they do do activity every single day. They don't follow a super restrictive diet, but they do eat mostly whole unprocessed foods. They balance their family time. They have loving connections and good relationships. They get to sleep regularly and have good cycles that are entrained with nature's natural rhythms of the sunrise and the sunset. They're not stressing on their smartphones. They're not running around like crazy people trying to do the rat race kind of thing. They're living a life of harmony externally and internally. And if we want to feel ease and we want to move away from dis-ease, we need to re-establish our balance and our harmony. Now, this is the big picture. It's the truth. It's what I've discovered and what our team has helped literally tens of thousands of men and women all around the world with a simple system do this. If you're interested in getting on a proven program that can help you reestablish the balance in your life and build the sustainable habits that'll help you propel into the future, then check out the description, check out the comments below. We have our proven fit father and fit mother programs. We'd love to welcome you into our families and show you exactly what you can do in the areas of food, sleep, exercise, and stress to get your body healthy, to get it back into balance, and help you have a long and healthy life for yourself and your family. I hope you found this valuable, my friend. There's some other links in the description too on some free stuff as well. You can check that out. If you like this video, if you found it insightful, if it got you to think, then please hit that thumbs up like button. It helps this video spread all over the internet, all over the YouTube algorithm, because people need to see this. Right now, we're all living out of balance. It's because we're not aware. Once we reestablish awareness by spreading this message and sending this to those you love, we can help everyone live healthier. And when we all start living healthier and reestablishing balance, the whole system that we're all involved in starts to reestablish balance too. It starts with us and it starts with awareness. So hit the like button, help this spread to other people who need to hear this message. And if you like this stuff and you're not subscribed to our channel, hit that subscribe button. We literally have hundreds of videos like this, as well as like in-depth exercise, do this, do that tutorials, things on recipes, meal planning, more stuff on motivation, some of this philosophy stuff we have all around the channel. Then we have 500 plus videos, so subscribe. You get instant access to all of those and drop us a comment below. If you found this insightful, if there's something else you wanna add here to this conversation, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you, my friend. Go forth, have a wonderful day. Establish balance and harmony in your life, and you'll have a beautiful, beautiful life. Thank you for being here. We'll see you around the channel, and I'll talk to you very soon.